channel and today we are speaking about the exciting journey for many people to come and study in Canada. This topic is very important for uh, you guys, especially if you're looking for a pathway to immigrate to Canada. If you do, this video is for you. So let's speak about Canada. What is exciting about Canada? Canada is a break breathtaking landscapes, beautiful country, welcoming culture, world-class education institution, which is very important for many people. And it's, be it's become one of the prime destination for international students seeking new educational ways and maybe later on to stay in Canada. This country uh, embrace the diversity and offer multitude of programs in their institution and some scholarship we'll talk about that later so for anybody who wants to come to canada the first step is to think if you want to study in canada or not okay why because the application is not simple as another countries second <clears throat> the price is a little bit high third Yes, there are challenges in Canada, for example, people coming from warmer uh, weather. It's a little bit cold here. So you have to prepare yourself. You are far away from your family, uh, cultural shock. All these things could happen for students to come. So when you decide and you know your capacities that you can study in Canada and you would like to do that, you will start with your uh, application. So basically you apply to a university to study in that university. So study the university's requirement for that program carefully. Read every single line. So if you need a language, what kind of test they do. So if they ask you for an IELTS and a Duolingo, do not do a TOEFL because it will not be accepted. Read through all these lines. Every university in Canada, do have their own requirements. So this is very important. Secondly, you need to know the programs you are going to. So most of the people do not care a lot because they want it as a path for the immigration. So you have to study in designated universities or schools or institutions. So not every single certificate or diploma in Canada can lead you to immigration. However, most of them, but some of them do not. So you have to know where you're going. Then the second thing is the tuitions. Tuition are very expensive. We will speak in the end of this video if you want to say what are the most or the cheapest universities for international students. I tried to find the cheapest ones for you so you can uh, find these universities and try to contact them. So when you found the program, you contact the programs, you send them the application, application fees, if they accept you and they want to give you an offer, most of the time they will ask you for the first semester to pay. Why? Usually this did not happen till recently. Many students coming here do not go to the university or the, the, the college they applied for. They start working or doing illegal things here, staying without studying. However, they already booked a space for you, a place for you. So they lost that semester. So now they are telling you, if you pay us, we will give you the acceptance letters and the letter for immigration. And if you don't want to study or your application was refused, for somehow we can refund you. But if your application was accepted, we will not refund you. And they will usually refund you the uh, fees for the semester, not the application fees. So you have to remember that. Okay, that's the first step. So if you got your application, if everything is good, you have to attach a letter to the university telling them why you want to study there, why this university, why these programs. So all of these things are very important. Maybe they need your high school or the previous uh, degree you had. Uh, all these small things are, 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 are important. So uh, then you can contact a, an immigration consultant or you apply by yourself for the uh, immigration uh, to uh, uh, to take uh, or to have the visa to get to Canada. So 
So there is a studying visa. You apply for this visa through the portal of IRCC. Uh, requirement mostly is your bank statement. It's very important to have a strong bank statement because they need at least a year or two in your bank statement or your parents' bank statement who is supporting you to show that you are capable of studying in Canada. You can't show them that you have only 10,000 Canadian dollars and say, I want to come to study in Canada. It's not enough even for tuition fees. So they want double of your tuition, at least 25000 to live, plus the tuition fee is for the first year. I would say if you have more is better, okay? Then uh, you need an application, uh, uh, applica you fill the application, and you need to fill a letter of uh, interest in study. So this letter, you do it yourself or with the help with an immigration consultant, Basically, you tell them about yourself, background, why you need to study this program, what is waiting for you at home, for example, a job offer if you have from a company that will employ you if you come back with this degree, uh, that you have enough money for this uh, uh, study, blah, blah, blah. All these things are very, very important for the uh, immigration, consult immigration uh, uh, employee to read to read that you have everything, okay? Then third, uh, you send this application. If you receive it, they will ask you for your fingerprints. You do it, done. Okay, you get your visa. This is your visa, not your study permit. You will get your study permit when you enter the first border, which is the, the, the airport, so usually Montreal, Vancouver, uh, Calgary, or, or um, um, Toronto. So one of these airports, you will meet an uh, uh, immigration uh, employee and they will give you, they will print a paper, this is your uh, study permit. So the difference between study permit and work and visa are very important. Study permit, you allow you to stay and study in Canada. So you have to study if you have a study permit. You cannot say, okay, I want to wait for another year. Okay, I'm already here. Let me work and do nothing. If you have a study visa, you, it will permit you have to study. The, st uh, the, st uh, the study visa allow you to exit and enter the country, okay? So if you want to go back to your country, you have to see that your visa is valid for that period. If not, you have to renew it. Study, uh, study permit, It's you can renew it every single year or two years depend on your study programs so i hope you understand the difference between the two things then later on uh, if you move uh, to canada and you start studying you will have a permit to work on the campus for 20 hours they change that rule somehow 20 hours in the campus and unlimited outside uh, 40 hours let us say the limited but you can work outside you have to uh, dig in the information this is august 2023 so they could change it anytime and without further notice uh, then uh, you have to start your program so what happened after you study what how studying can lead me to immigration? How can I stay here and have my PR? This is the hardest truth that not many people tell you, but I will try to make it easy. So study will allow you to stay after study and have a postgraduate work permit. This permit will allow you to work in any field, anywhere, in Canada for the period of your study, no maximum than three years. Let's make it simple. If you studied for one year, eight months to one year, you will have one year work permit. If you studied for two years, you will have two years work permit. If you studied for three years, you will have three years work permit. If you studied for four years, five years, you will have three years work permit. So maximum three years. So if you study and work in Canada for at least two years, you can apply for the city, uh, to the PR through the express entry. Again, you have to compete, you have to uh, 
collect points or score. These are important. So don't think it's an automatic program. You have to apply. If you don't apply on time, if you don't have enough scores, sorry to tell you that it won't help you. This is the sadly truth, but it is true. You have to prepare yourself for this. So you have to collect. I know people coming at age 40, they want to study. And at age 45, they want to apply. They already lose a lot of points because of the age. Because after 45, you have zero points for the age. So yeah, they, they, they collected some points for studying and working, but they lost a lot for, uh, for age. So you have to uh, find somebody who help you with collecting or counting the scores before you do this, if you want to immigrate, if you want to just to study and work and go back home, that's different. Let's speak about funding. This is a question that many people ask me. Is there a way to study for free in Canada? Oh, yeah, and no. Okay, so uh, the scholarships are not direct in Canada. You can apply for you apply for scholarship. They don't give you a scholarship. So you apply for scholarship if, or maybe they can give you if you are excellent in your study. So if you are having great grades like A A A plus A plus A plus, you can apply for scholarship. Some scholarships will cover you for $1,000, some for $10,000, some for $5,000. depends on the scholarship and compet uh, uh, competitions in that scholarship. Second, okay, if you don't have good grades, you will not have um, uh, scholarship. So basically, I know people who want to come, work, study, uh, and have scholarship. It's, it's really hard, especially it's not your native language. So I know from myself, I studied here, and I know how hard it is to study in a language not uh, your native. So conclusion, yes, it's good to study in Canada. Yes, it's a good pathway to uh, immigration. But again, you have to be careful with what uh, they promise you. So let's speak about the 15, as I promised, the 15 universities that uh, could be the cheapest in Canada. The first one, and I know this is for so far the cheapest one, the Memorial University of Newfoundland. The place is a little bit far. It's in St. John's, uh, a little bit cold. Uh, they have more than 300 uh, international students. Uh, the the tuition is around 11,000 per year, Canadian dollars for students. So it's not not bad, yeah. But again, it's it's one of the cheapest. It's some universities in Toronto or Montreal could reach 30, 20,000 a year easy. Then uh, Canadian uh, Mennonite University, it's another university in Manitoba, which is uh, divided in five colleges, and they have many undergrad and degree programs. Then St. Stephen University, which is uh, uh, tuition is around 17,000. Again, you see double the Sun Memorial. It's located in New Brunswick. Um, San John, uh, San, San Thomas, sorry, San Thomas University, another 17,000. That's the average, guys. Again, it uh, depends on, on, on other uh, programs. And uh, it is uh, in New Brunswick, too. Uh, Tyndale University, 16,000. University of Manitoba, 16,000. University of Manitoba, one of the greatest universities in Canada. It's cheap, it's in Winnipeg, uh, uh, and it's the largest in the province of Manitoba. Uh, there is, a, uh, as is, they say, 30,000 students uh, in that university. Uh, Alberta University of the Arts. It's not Alberta University of the Arts. It's another one. University of Winnipeg, uh, another 15,000 fees. It's again one of the biggest and the most important for research centers in 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 the uh, especially in the health and the, the University of the North. Never heard about this. Fifteen thousand. I don't know. Athabasca University. Usually it's an online university. Uh, Fifteen thousand. However, uh, you have to know if 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 you want to go back to the country if it's allowed to study a full degree online. So. Uh, Atlantic School of Theology, 14,000. Brandon University, another 14,000 something. It's in, uh, the University of Prince Edward Island, another 14,000. 
Booth University College, 12,000, then uh, Kingswood University, 11,000. So these are the cheapest so far. I found this uh, in information on the internet. However, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. So, uh, however, you have to. Uh, two of me, I'm not white. Anyway, so uh, you need to uh, read more, study more, and prepare yourself for this. Have a great day and see you in the next.